Engineer consulted the troubleshooting manual, which recommended replacing flight augmentation computer 2. Upon realizing that no spare was available at the Surabaya maintenance store, the engineer obtained a replacement from another aircraft undergoing maintenance. After installing the new FAC-2, the engineer requested the pilots to start both engines to verify functionality following the power interruption. After both engines started, the problem did not reappear. The captain was satisfied with the rectification and advised that they were ready to depart. The aircraft then flew from Surabaya to Kuala Lumpur and returned without further problems. The engineer didn't realize then that the problem wasn't with flight augmentation computer 2, but with the rudder travel limiter specifically involving its circuit boards. These boards showed soldering cracks that could disrupt electrical continuity, leading to failures in the rudder travel limiter unit or RTLU. These cracks likely resulted from thermal cycling associated with changes between powered and non-power conditions and transitions between ground and flight states. This loss of electrical continuity was the actual cause of the RTLU failure. Despite the engineer's efforts and the replacement of flight augmentation computer 2, the underlying issue with the rudder travel limiter went unresolved, setting the stage for potential catastrophic consequences. On December 28, 156 passengers boarded Indonesia Air Asia Flight 8501 at Juanda International Airport in Surabaya, Indonesia. The same Airbus A320 on which Flight Augmentation Computer 2 had been replaced three days prior was piloted by the same captain, though accompanied by a different first officer. This time, the captain was 53-year-old Irianto, an Indonesian national. He began his aviation career in the Indonesian Air Force at a young age and spent a decade piloting F-5 and F-16 fighter jets. Following his military service and early retirement, he transitioned to commercial aviation. He had over 20,000 flying hours. Alongside him was 46-year-old First Officer Remy Emanuel Plezel. He had more than 2,000 flying hours. In this flight, the first officer acted as the pilot flying and the captain acted as the pilot monitoring. Before departure, the pilots reviewed the weather in their route. Flight 8501 was scheduled to travel from Surabaya, Indonesia, to Singapore Changi Airport, crossing the Java Sea along the route. This journey typically takes about two and a half hours. They noted thunderstorms and areas of towering cumulonimbus clouds along the route with cloud tops ranging from 24,000 feet to 44,000 feet. Prevailing westerly winds were blowing at 15 to 20 knots.